So this is um, a male oyster and a female oyster, and they're spawning. And that's what we do on the spawning table back there. This hatchery operates. You can't have a hatchery for anything unless you can hatch things. And oysters or chickens or whatever you're trying to hatch, you have to be able to get the eggs in the right stage. And what we do, we bring oysters in, what we call broodstock, and we condition them by manipulating temperature um, to get ready to spawn. Once they are ripe and in spawning condition, we bring them on our spawning table back there and we raise the temperature to what spawning temperature is, which approximates summer water temperature in the bay. What happens is the males will spawn, and what you see is sperm coming out right here in a steady stream. The female is going to open her shells and pulse a cloud of eggs out. When that happens, we can sex them. Oysters start their lives mostly as males. Some of them switch to females. They can switch back and forth. And when you're doing a hatchery, you have to be aware of that, and you have to be able to make sure that you're only putting the females with other females and the males with other males. So once we see something like this happen, we'll remove the oysters from the spawning table and put them in a tub that only has other males in it, or another tub that only has other females in it. And we allow them to spawn to completion, which takes a half an hour to an hour. At the end of that, we remove the oysters from the tub, and we have a tub that has largely water with sperm in it, another tub that has water that has largely eggs in it. There is some sperm in the egg water, which means some of the fertilization has already occurred, but we look at that, we look at the eggs from that, and we determine if we need to add sperm or and how much more we need to add. Once we have a, a bucket of fertilized eggs, we make a count of them and we put them in our larval tanks, which you'll see in a minute. And they're fed, they're, the water in the larval tanks is kept at the proper temperature, and it's finely filtered down to one micron because we're trying to create the perfect environment to grow larval oysters.